Yeah. Yo, people. Um, Vox has these really tiny things, and um, they are run with new tubes, which is like a tube, but it's newer and it's flat and it's really tiny. So um, I already a year ago, more than a year ago, looked at the MV50 Clean, and then they had the Rock and the AC, which I never looked at, but I will next week. But they have two new ones, the Boutique and the High Gain, which is a good reason to look at the whole range and contrast and compare them and do all that stuff that we do here on this channel, HP42. It's, it, it's pronounced HP42, it's like HP, like the letters. Um, like MV, HP, their letters. I'm just not 50 yet. Now Siri is saying, yeah, yeah. No, shut up, Siri. By the way, you have to move the camera, Siri. And now Siri is moving the camera. So, um, we have the high gain. And I was uh, at the distributor earlier uh, picking up the uh, MVX150H, which is, uh, if you go to some kind of camera where you can see that, Leslie, the 150 watt, Leslie's looking for cameras, the 150 watt monstrosity, which is not, not that big, actually, um, 150 watt new tube amp that they have in a separate video, which is probably seven hours long. But now, MV50 high gain. It's pretty much an amp that does a thing, which is high gain. 20 watt uh, class D power amp. No, 50 watt. 50 watts the MV50 <laughs> uh, class D power amp. We're gonna see how loud that gets in the room. I have to turn the room channel on as well so that I can record it. Which is gonna be recorded with two Lewitt LCT 340s in a stereo configuration. There are the Lewitts, just in case you want to know how far they are from the speaker. So on the front of the amp is a, a gain, which of course we always want right here. Uh, tone and volume. On the back of the amp is a speaker out, a phones and a line out, which we're not checking. Echo means the thing turns off. Standby, which you can't see right now, that may, pretty, means, pretty much means turning the amp on. And uh, in EQ, flat or deep and a mid control in three different se uh, settings, which we have to check out. But let's go low gain, which really this is not a clean amp. Let's see how clean we can get it. We're gonna go to single call, and there we go. Uh, it is running through the Universal Audio Aux right there with a 412 with uh, cream backs, but I also have the Torpedo Studio setup with uh, two Rev 412, no, a Rev 412 and a 212. That sounds like this. Versus. There's a difference, so we'll check both of them for the low metal sound. Uh, let's see how clean we can get. Is this the wrong knob? Well, this is not the freaking amp you get when you want clean. It says fucking high gain on the front panel. So um, get the MV50 clean, which does stellar Vox type clean sounds. This does not. So this does. It's not horrible, but that's not why you buy this amp. And also why waste it with the gain at zero? It crunches if you can do that. Come on, and how pretty is this? Uh, Schecter Apocalypse 7 uh, hardtail in a beautiful ash with a five piece neck volute locking tuners. This is a killer guitar, and I have no problem saying that. <laughs>
Not bad, but we need a bit more gain. this at the distributor earlier i was freaking blown away i played it with the uh mv mvx 50 speaker with had like a yellow uh, yellow a red uh something celestial who knows what in it uh 112 speaker and the clarity and the punch and the volume was pretty phenomenal so for 250 bucks you are buying yourself quite a little metal monster it can do one thing metal or high gain but come on <laughs> a little bit of fun so let's look at the mid switch in the back <laughs> Focused. Let's go to that very mid focus sound. Adding reverb compression and delay on the ox.
was a fun sound. Of course, a little bit less pointy. Okay, moving on to leaving it here. And I'll come back again. Let's check it out with a different speaker. In this case, the Rev, the Rev uh, uh, 412. There's the ref. So with the ref, which is a little bit more mid-focused, the normal is perfect. Shot through the heart, and you're too plain. You give love a bad name. I play my part, and you play your game. You give love. That's just how in Bon Jovi intended it. Um, pretty awesome. Leaves us to check it out in the room and see how loud it gets. The door is closed. That is good. Um, Let's see, through the that blue speaker behind me on the amp wall, if you go to the amp wall, yeah, blue speaker behind me, which is a uh, coffee caps latte 212 loaded with um, cream bags, and we're going to pump that into the room and mic it from where you saw earlier. <laughs> Of course, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, it is just too loud when I have it going unattenuated. At the level, at the volume where it's at, it is freaking loud. So you will not have a problem in any band type situation with that uh, head at all. It sounds with that cap pretty freaking phenomenal. <laughs> Fifty high gain. Let's talk about the pros and cons. 
Pro, it sounds freaking phenomenal. Wow. It is fun. It is a shit ton of fun. Um, uh, Pro, it is freaking tiny. Wow. Um, awesome. I need an external power supply. Ah, but okay, no, nothing you can do about that. Uh, have, it, have I said that it's freaking fun? It's not freaking phenomenal? Yes, I did. Um, it is freaking tiny, but it also has a stupid handle on it. So uh, look, at the, look at the stupid handle. Uh, the only way you can take that off, which why would you need a handle like this to carry an amp that is so damn small? It makes no sense. I can just pick that up and it, 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 it makes no sense to have a handle. Other than that they wanted it to have a handle, which makes it cumbersome, makes it not fittable. It, you can't fit that uh, in, a, um, in your gig bag. You could easily sh stuff that, as, as I was going to say, stuff it. You could stuff this into your gig bag with a handle. No, you can't. Take the freaking handle off, Vox. Come on. Um, from the top, by the way, you can see the new tube inside. Now you can't, but you could if I actually could move that around correctly. See? New tube inside. Who cares? Um, so, the handle uh, needs to go. And uh, I think what Vox needs to do is uh, make this into a pedal. Because it's pedal-sized already. So why were it stuck so high? Um, because I'm excited. It's pedal size already. Take the handle off, but make it a new pedal. Put it on a pedal board. Put it right back into your amp and pff, ah, uh, into your cab. The uh, pedal would be amazing. Um, or take the handle off. So size, amazing. Handle, what for? Because it kind of just makes it too big and this way you can put it into your gig bag. Um, mid, mid thing on the back makes total sense. Uh, we didn't test the deep. Fuck it! Who needs it? Sounded great. Um, it's an insane amp for getting a kick-ass metal sound or high-gain sound at home, right out of the box, uh, also at moderate volumes, but you can use it as a backup at a gig. Are you going to go to your metal gig with that thing? <sighs> Two reasons why not. A, what kind of wimp would you be to come up with that? Like, me, 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 me. Just, I mean, that would be weird. It's not METAL! And um, also, uh, it says Vox on it, which, I'm sorry, Vox, but you're not the most metal company. So, when it comes to branding, and we all are slave to the, slave to the brand at, no, that's not a slave, slave to the grind? Mm, no, that's not, let's not go there. Um, showing up to a metal gig with a Vox, MV50 high gain, it's gonna be weird. Some of you might have the balls to do it, go and do it because it sounds phenomenal. It can be loud enough to survive in a band. Um, I don't like that it doesn't have an effects loop because any of these high gain sounds sound so great. I mean, the lead sound was killer with that delay and the reverb on it. And you can, you simply can't do that if you have it in front of the amp. You need that uh, behind the gain stage. So between the preamp and the power amp, so you would need an effects loop. So, no effects loop, um, Handle, what the crap. Price, 250. There are cheaper amps, the uh, Joyo uh, band amps, for example, but they're 20 watt, this is 50. This gets quite a bit more volume, like quite a bit more. Um, this is also smaller without the handle. Um, functional mid thingy. Uh, what's not to like, other than the handle and the effect loop. But other than that, everything's to like. The sound, they nailed. That's it. Link below. Animals at the end. I'm out. Meta!